Welcome to episode 100. Yes, 100. Jeepers, nearly two years. Um, so, what what genius idea do we have for tonight? Uh, well, we're going to do uh, show one backwards. Uh, show one, a bit of a shambles. Um, no, no green screen. As you can see by my fingers, um, no theme music, no graphics. So I felt it probably needed a, an update. And what better way to do it than on episode 100? So, uh, so we've got pulled out all the stops. We've got the retro lounge t shirt, we've got the uh, retro lounge light lit up. It's a bit shiny though, you can't really see it because I didn't have lighty lights, did I? Didn't have these. See? Oh, I've had a bit of a redecorate. I'm doing it again here, yeah, look up here. So um so yeah. So shall we get going? See uh see what we've got. You you might not remember. I mean episode one is on the um is on the feed. Uh it's on YouTube. Um and it was an unthemed test. In some places it's actually called tester. Um, and I did try, I did try and uh, get this, this working, this super action controller from the ColecoVision, uh, with mixed results. Uh, my my Mac's not recognising it. Oh, actually, my Mac does recognise it, but um, OpenMU, which we use to play the games, doesn't, doesn't recognise it properly. So we can't use it. So um, well, we're going back to the good old classic pad. Which I don't think I was using in episode one. Um, anyway, I can't do anything in this big screen, can I? Even though, even though everything looks gorgeous in the background, uh, we need to go to the other screen and start playing some games. Shoot up. There we go. Oh, look, it's already there. So, we have played a couple of, I mean, we've done a few Mr. Do games just recently, but rules is rules. I'm playing the games from um, episode one in reverse order. So instead of it being 001, it's 100. Have I belaboured the point enough yet? I think so. Right, how do we turn this on? I forget now. There we go. Ho, ho, ho. Right. Um, let me make sure my control is working properly since I was fannying on with it the other day there we go we should have no problems at all lol uh, right so you remember Mr Duke so uh, you also remember my history with the ClickVision ClickVision was um, I traded in an Atari VCS for a ClickVision uh, you've heard this story before um, and I spent a lot of time with the ClickVision and um oh that worked last time oh one second oh toss pots <laughs> right okay why's that it was working fine earlier um let me think of an ingenious way around this oh oh that's interesting it's mapped it differently all right all right so uh left one is one player and left two is two player oh fancy Let's see if that's actually true shall we oh oh it is okay uh, so mr do Oh, okay. Where's the not audio? There it is. Oh, you're probably going to hear me moaning about the... Um... You're going to me, hear me moaning about the pad, which isn't doing what it's supposed to. Oh, 
Oh, missed it. The idea is you eat the cherries, you avoid the monsters, and you get the bonus letters if you can, and sometimes you can't. Only a matter of time before I ran into a monster. You'll notice this map but it's also said do backwards. Mm, odd, odd. But now it says number two. As a kid, it took me bloody ages to, to notice that. As in, I was so astounded by it that I, um, I probably seem to remember I took pictures of it to send into um, a TV gaming magazine. Bless my little cotton socks. Obviously I've found that magazine on the Internet Archive, so I do have a copy of it. Uh. I got the middle thing, but I'd already got the um, the T. So, oh, I can usually get back under them. Tacking a bit. I'm glad he got it coming back. Right, anybody got any guesses on what the next maze is going to be? Yeah, do you say four? Yeah, you're right. my pad doing what it's supposed to. Not like that. Dag damn it. Sure I would have played better with a super action controller. Let me look how fast those little fellas are moving now.
I mean, this is definitely one of the cartridges I had as a kid. As evidenced by the fact I've just told you the story about the, um, checking the pictures of the screen. to get an E though, wouldn't it? Just to get that extra life. Wrong ep uh, episode? Uh, scene 7. Oh! Oh! We're not going to get very further now, are we? Because we're dead! Deady dead. Dead, Dave. <sighs> well, look, as we've done... Uh, we've already done um, an episode on Mr. Doe. On Mr. Do. Um, we'll probably leave that one there. Because you can go and look at the special episode of it. Um, it was part of a... Because there aren't enough games to do a full... There aren't enough Mr. Do games. I think we probably picked... Um, a half and half type show. To show you that. Uh, that was Mr. Do. Do, 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 do. And we're moving on. What was the next thing? So Mr. Do was the last game we played. So the one we played penultimately was Time Pilot um, a game I mean I do have a theoretical theme of games involving time travel um, and this is this is one of them this is a, a time uh, time travel esque you play a pilot Travelling through time, which is why it's called Time Pilot. Bit of a giveaway. Uh, 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 let's have a look. T -t -t -t. Time Pilot. Okay, if I remember rightly, it's got some bloody odd mechanics. I end up going round and round in circles. Uh, has it come up the right size? Yeah, it looks okay. Right. Um, left button. Right, we're in 1910. Which one's a shoot? Here it is. So. weird it's weird it's like it goes around in a circle based on so if I'm already facing left and I push left I don't go any lefter I don't go round in a circle I have to go the other direction say so I'm driving to the right now so if I press right nothing happens but if I press up and down I do go up and down but I can't spin to spin round in a circle I have to press all the quadrants Come on. Don't want to go that way. Want to go that way. Don't want to go that way. Super weird. And yeah, it felt perfectly fine using using the controller. So we jump into World War Two? Yes we are.
Oh, whoa. Well, there we go. Ah. So it looks like you have to shoot so many ship, uh, ships before you can jump onto the next, the next time zone. Oh, I'm not going to make it, am I? I'm going to die. Dag nab it. We'll have another crack. It takes me a while to get my my finger in. That's not the right phrase, is it? Uh, my um, joypad. Worky worky joypad words thing. Um, this isn't resetting, which is weird. All right, I'll have to reset it with the mouse. Did you have to reset the collector vision when you played it? I don't remember doing that. I'm going to assume the music's loud enough. Um, it is low. Uh, just because um, I am conscious that some of these older games do have irritating music. Right, did I see a parachutist down here? Is he still there? Or has he been reset? He's been reset. Right, we need that um, dirigible to come back because I think we've got. Oh, there it is. Don't want to lose it. Oh. There we go. There we are, back at 1940. So soon. Did these dive bomb you faster? Cluster, hello, hello. That's fine, that's fine. Watching telly, doing more important things than monitoring the chat room and shit. That's fine. Don't worry. At least it's not like a special episode or anything like that, so. Yo! Oh, I just drove into it. Just got to get a handful more and then we can leave this time zone and if i remember rightly i think it's the 70s whoa that looks like it's probably the one we want don't you think no 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 come back oh we lost it Oh, referee. Oh, it still worked. Yeah, 1970. Day I was, not the day, the year I was born. And that'll teach me. Oh, we did like Curies in, in the 80s, didn't we? Vietnam helicopters. They're all over the place. Do 
Do you know, honestly, I can't remember what time zone is next. Oh no! It's trying to run into me. Run away! <sighs> hey! Can't remember how far we got in, um, in episode one. But here we are in the 80s. I'm shooting jets. Oh, there. Well, we weren't in the 80s for very long. But, um... Time pilot. There you go. I'll tell you what, oh, I don't want to sound like a moaning old git, but it's uh, cold. It's been cold all day. It's like second winter. Second winters have arrived. We had fake spring, and now we're just having second winter. And then <laughs> in a couple of weeks, it'll be real spring. Oh, I don't know. Um, do we want to play that? I don't think we do, do we? So... Time Pilot on the Clicker Vision. Fantastic. Ah, so before that, in episode one, we played badly, I might add. And we're not going to be any better tonight. Which is a shame, because I really like this game. And I like it so much, I have two arcade cabinets of this game. And I'm thinking about buying a third one. In fact, no. <laughs> <laughs> Not of this game, but I do have all of the arcade games, and yet they've released a mini arcade game that plays all three games, and I'm I'm still tempted. And it is, of course, Star Wars the arcade game. So this is one of those games which is m made made by its controller. If you um, if you've played the arcade game, I mean, as soon as it came out, I bought it on the Clicker Vision as well. But the arcade game is it, the controls are just spectacular. I'm even looking at a controller that's USB. It works on the arcade. It's, it's a replacement for the arcade game, but you can plug it into USB as well and use it to play. And it is, of course. The flight yokes, and I've, I've realised I've just used, of course, twice. Very rapid succession. I'm super excited. I like I like Star Wars arcade game. Unfortunately, can't play this one very well because the controls are upside down, and my aged brain doesn't uh, doesn't compute. So, and it's not an excuse if it's true, but. Star Wars the arcade game, love it, shit at it, uh, here, okay in the arcade, pretty good in the arcade, but let's, let's have a go, shall we, if it'll, um, here we go, oh. oh, surely there's a way to invert the controllers, this is just too much. Ah. See, normally I can just pop these these fireballs out of existence, but ah. Oh. I'm even worse than this episode one. Honestly, absolutely diabolical. Ah. Oh. Oh, 
I was going to say maybe I should have turned it up so you could hear the music, but there isn't any at the moment. Shield gone. Oh, no. It makes me so sad. <laughs> it does. It really does. I think we probably used to use the joystick upside down. Yay, I've got a TIE Fighter. That's good. Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh. Honestly, I... I oh, oh, have we got any other alternative? I don't think there is. There's no option to re invert the controllers either. Dagnab it. It's weird that it just says game over and then doesn't reset. I'm sure we didn't have to do this with a clicker vision. Anyway, let's restart it. Let's have another crack. Oh. I mean, if I turned it upside down, it'd be the wrong hand. Oh, I wonder if I could. I wonder if I can. Oh no, no, I can't do that because left and right are the wrong way round. Then jeepers! Right, okay, no, no. And then when I do get it the right direction, it's like way off. It's super sensitive about how fast it's going. Ah, don't know why it went that way. Should start getting in the middle, really, because... Uh... No, I missed it! How irritating. Good. Got it that time. Oh, can we get through this round now so that we can do towers? No, we can't. We're going to die. Horribly. In fireball hell. Happy that we got Darth Vader. Yeah, why won't you shoot the fireballs? Towers? Towers. Oh, ran into tower, trying to top off a tower. This is irritating. Losing my shields, not getting the tower. Yeah, you got a tower, but then I ran into the same tower. Dead. Um... It's too painful to play. It is just too painful. It's probably too painful for you to watch as well. Um, that was Star Wars, the arcade game. Um, and do you know what? If I if I had a way of streaming directly from an arcade cabinet, I would. The other option... Ooh! The other option is to... 
pay £200 for that controller, plug it into the Mr. FPGA, and then play Star Wars from that. That might be a thing. I just need £200. So if you could all uh, subscribe and watch, watch some adverts, then in about five years, I'll have enough to get a controller for it. Um, anyway, that was Star Wars the Arcade Game. Oh, poor Star Wars. Uh, okay, right. Let's move on to um, our first ColecoVision game last time. It's going to be our last ColecoVision game now. It is uh, Carnival. Now, fans of um, old arcade games will remember Carnival from the arcade. It's a shooting game. Let me have, there we go. It's under C for Carnival, believe it or not. I know, right? Um, shooting game. Where are you, Carnival? There you are. So... This is the one that I tested the Super Controller on when it was working, before it stopped working properly, never to work again properly. I don't know. Um, it doesn't need any explaining. You shoot things like at a carnival. The ducks are the bad guys. When they get to the bottom, they eat your bullets. I mean, technically, I should be getting the pipes because they decrease in. Um... There we go. They decrease in value at every shot. One more pipe. There we go. And if you don't get them quick enough, you get a shitload of ducks. And not enough bullets to get them all. There you little shit. Oh. Oh, come on. Why can't I get that duck? <laughs> What's wrong with me? run out of bullets if I'm not careful. Oh, thank God for that. See what I mean about the ducks? Oh, thank God. Poof. <sighs> See, I used to be able to do that better in the old days. Oh. Whoa there. Yeah, swine. And then it's uh, rinse and repeat. More ducks. Everything's a bit faster. I think you've got to get bonus in the right order or else you don't get your bonus. Oh, 
Hey, ducks. Duck off. Arguably a better round. Lot more ducks this time. Evil ducks, evil, evil ducks. Just want to eat bullets. Yep, I'm gonna lose some bullets this time. Ooh. Right, I could do with some bullets, or I could be in trouble. Oh. No! Uh oh. It's not looking good. Four bullets left. Nab it. Oh. Well, that was a shame. Not a lot of gameplay involved. Um, you know, I wouldn't want you to get bored. So we're going to move on. This could be a relatively short show. I think the first show was quite a short show. Um, we did do a whole... Well, actually, we did, we did do a whole bunch of games. Um... But there you go, Carnival on the Clickervision. Oh dear. What a way to crash out. Uh, right, so we're going further back in time now as we go to the Atari 7800. And um, it's a, a puzzle game that we looked at, I think. Possibly. Uh, moderator extraordinaire, Nutty Cluster. Asked for this one. Perhaps. Can't remember. It was a long time ago. A long time ago. Um, so you're going to want... Uh, going to want the screen, aren't you, to see what Clax is all about. Uh, puzzle game. We've probably featured it again in, our, in, in one of our puzzle... Um, episodes, I would imagine. Oh, we've picked something like it. Oh, we've picked it from a different platform, maybe. Uh, open a view. Kalax. There you go. I know it looks like Ilax, which sounds like a laxative, but it's not. It's Kalax. There you go. Yes, that's right. Naughty Cluster. Clax. I know you've got a bit of a delay and all that, but... Let's see if I can remember how to play. All right, so we need to get uh, three in a row without them dropping off. Is that that's right, isn't it? They're not allowed to. 
Oh, is it three in a row or three in a stack? Ooh, I forget now. Well, there you go. Choose to play it on the Mega Drive. Do good old nutty cluster. What happened there? Oh. Huzzah. Got to get five claxes now. Oh yeah, I forgot you could hold tiles on the paddle. Why did I do that? That was stupid, wasn't it? Oh, and why did I do that? I'm not colour blind. Just hard of thinking. Oh, why did that? Why did? Why is it going back up there like that? Stupid. Tits. No, 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 no. where it starts getting confusing, isn't it? Diagonals. I need to get a bed down first. I didn't flip that up. I'm sure I didn't. get a diagonal like that, am I? Oh, this is going to go hopefully wrong. Oh, wasn't that a diagonal? Shit. It looked diagonally to me. it up, haven't I? We're all full! I have to get three dag I have to get diagonal three times. Is there anything to tell you what's coming next? Your eyes! Oh, great. Okay. I think the first one's generally easy. Er. So, uh, right, I see. That wouldn't be. I can't just, I just can't keep up. Whether it's the <laughs> time of day or what, I don't know. Right, we might be on for a blue one. I think. But we're not getting any blue. 
do breeze. Oh, tails. No, that's where I wanted the blue one to go. Come on, we've got to get the diagonals, surely. Come on. Come on, math. Okay. Let's get one in the bottom. One there. One there. Let's just put that... Oh. All right, to yourself. Let's put that there. Okay. So if we put there. That's I'm actually after. Nope, not after that. I'm, I want a yellow, really. Not controller problems, brain problems. Is that a, is that a th yes? Okay. Oh, to ass. Oh, ass. I wanted that blue one. Ooh, ooh. Oh, oh. Ah. Let's hydrate. Oh. Come on, it's only level three. Why is it so difficult? It's only easy as well. A four in a row counts as two claxes. I don't even know why I did that. So will they go if I still stack them weird? Right. Thing is then, the bloody purple one that I was setting up is also buggered. <sighs> Gonna have to leave this one unfulfilled at this rate. Oh, so at least I can get rid of them if I build a pile of them. Shit. Oh, oh. No, I'm <laughs> not, I'm not. Oh. Oh. There might be a reason why we've, um, if we've not played Clax again, maybe that, that's the reason. Maybe. Oh. No, no. Um, they go Clax. It's the pressure. It's the pressure of them coming towards you and you're like, oh, oh, where can I stack him? Where can I stack him? Ah. Oh, dear. Oh, let's move on, shall we? Um, so. The um, the next uh, game is also on the 7800 and it's just had um, a remaster um, for the new... Atari 2600 Plus console, I believe. 
It may even be out on Switch as well. Um, but it's it's had an update. We're playing the original, or a ROM of the original, and it's called Food Fight. So, 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 a food fight. Um, again, we picked it at random when we when we played it. Um, I never owned a 7800. Um, it came sort of after I was in the ColecoVision times. Um, so these are all all these games are new to me anyway. Eat the ice cream cone. Oh, it's slow moving. Okay, so. Whoa. Oh, I remember that. Nightmares. This this is an arcade game, believe it or not. It's not something I played in the arcade. Oh. Oh, this is not gonna go well. Yeah, I don't remember this at all. Oh, that doesn't go very well. Come on. Can you go wrong with a game about eating um, eating ice cream? What? Instant replay? Don't think I need to see that. Can't quit it though. suddenly become a banana magnet but Control where you throw things. Ah, oh, no, it's a little, a little blurry for me. How's it looking for you? Yeah, it looks better on your screen than mine. Um, let's have another go, shall we? Sometimes, direct approach. I wish he'd eat his ice cream with his hands. I mean, I know traditionally your mouth is, is the best. Oh, I'm getting entangled and enmeshed by chefs. Oh shit. Did I 
really expected to turn round like that, and I don't know why, because that's obvious that's what he's going to do. Oh! My button... Oh! Oh, well, well, that's weird. I just pressed my button a lot, and all of a sudden, Apple Chess has started. Uh, cancel? What? What on earth? This button must be mapped to something else. Rapid presses of this button. Uh, oh, was it dead? Okay. So I think episode one of Retro Lounge was the first time I've ever played this. Him, not the other one. Oh, chefs. Hurrah. Oh, there's not going to be any ice cream left at this rate. Oh, he was hardly touching me then. Getting the um, collision detection on this is a bit, a bit fierce. What did we get to last time? Oh. Must be every level five. Just notice that you get extra points for keeping your bananas. Oh, oh, come on. I fired that banana straight up. Why did it shoot off a stupid angle? down a hole okay well fair enough um there you go food fight for the atari 7800 um the the middle the middle of our 7800 games that we played on episode one of retro lounge uh so we're going on to our first game which will be our last game uh of the 7800s and I seem to remember this one going also, this one, going poorly for me. I'm to the point that I even think there may have been shorts made of it, unless I'm thinking of another fighting game. I might, I might, I might be, I might be. It was a long time ago. Um, but we're going to have a look at the 7800 version of Double Dragon. There's the puppy. There we go. Double drag on. So, um, as with most fighting games, I'm gonna get my ass handed to me on a platter.
Yeah, it was definitely this one. I'm gonna get slapped, I think. Yeah, look at that. It's not, I don't, I think it's a different one that we actually played. Because I actually remember a more of an actual girly slap. Um, but I'm still getting beaten, which is no surprise. Wow. Will this person go down at all? Come on, go down like a cheap hooker. There you go. There's an awful lot of fighting in, involved. Some of the games that we've played on Retro Lounge that is like this, you know, like the walk from left to right and hit people. They only need two or three punches before they go down. Whereas these people, rock hard. Oh. I do wonder if the games of the 90s, like the late 80s and 90s, um, were just easier. Because people people were like, well, I'm not playing it if it's too, too difficult. Um, what? And old old video games do have a do have a bit of a reputation of being quite brutal, like not giving you any chances of being super difficult. I think we double dragoned on a different console. Oh, this is a, still the second guy that won in the blue with the pinker, not not violet skin. All I can say is that I can take quite a bit of punishment as well. dead so, and I, don't, I can't see any way of being more powerful it is just a, 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 a I don't know well we'll have to try again won't we because we've only got a couple of games after this what what oh there we go English tear. English tear. So, I wonder if the, the, the trick is not to move off the screen just yet and fight that bloke in this screen so I'm only getting one at once. Or oh, is that too much to ask for? Stop slapping me like a bitch. gone too far now and I've pulled another guy into the screen to punch they, they can you know punch with punchy fists but no they insist on slapping hey come here slap you like a girl oh come on come on huh. ok 
Okay. So I think we have a strategy. Thing is now, two's gonna two two's gonna come on out. so we don't call any more onto the screen. How can you slap me out of the air? If I'm doing a jumpy kick, how can you slap me out of the air? Really, I ask. Well, there you look. There you go. That was Double Dragon. I don't think we got onto this screen when we first played it. I think we were just so stunned by being slapped around the head that we, um... Yeah, I don't think we got any further than that. But that was Double Dragon on the 7800. The Atari 7800. If I'm saying numbers as a console, assume it's got Atari in front of it. I should have perhaps said that earlier on, but, you know. Okay, we're down to our last two games, which were our first two that we played. You get the picture. Um, this is an Atari, uh, we're moving to the VCS, the 2600. Atari 2600. And we're going to start today with the weirdly titled Communist Mutants from Space. Yep. So... Let's have a look. Ah. No, it cost has been a bit quiet. I bet she's gonna sleep. Okay, so what's the start button? Don't, don't do that. Come on. We've played you before. Oh. So, as you remember, Space Invaders. For all intents and purposes. Whoa. Wow. It moves left to right quite um, fast. I did say Communist Mutants from Space. This is called, yes. Weird, isn't it? Um, can't hundred percent say this was an official game. Do you know what? I would love to just play these with the original joystick. I'm not saying it's my controller. Honestly, I'm not. I'm not. But it is.
I wonder if I can get that bloody thing shooting. Oh, too busy looking at that caterpillary doobry, what's it? I think I can get it, else I think I would have hit it by now. Do you think? Walked into that. Oh, I did get it. All right. And that's when they get all cross and start falling on you. ships so the sooner I get that fella then the um ah oh. okay remember 4060 going again oh 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 just ran into it like a dickhead. Oh, I oh, know. It's one of those things now that I've started dying and be like. Like that. That was a bad thing. Honest. Pad don't move from left to right very well. That's what it is. Strangely, in some ways, it's better and the I don't know if animated the right word. It's better um, looking than Space Invaders on the 26th I was watching that space creature at the top. I'm irritating myself now. Come on. Jesus Christ. It's a little bit like breakout as well, isn't it? Where you've got to get through the um the shield to get to the main thing, but the bloody 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 brah. Well, there you go, communist mutants from space on the Atari 2600.
and my first game was my best score. I think that says a lot. I felt there was a different episode, a, a different phase. I don't know. It could be just that all the way through. Um. Anyway, did I play it any better on episode one? You'll have to go and watch episode one to find out, because I can't remember. No idea. But that was Communist Mutants from Space. So we're down to our final game now, which was the first one we ever played on Retro Lounge. What was I thinking? Um, but it was a bunch of games picked at random to see if this madness would work. So here we go with a, a game you might recognise. Kinda. Kinda. It's... Um, it also would fit very nicely into one of our movie episodes um, because this is the Atari 2600 licensed game of... Kids console, by the way. Licensed game of Alien. But, you know, it looks to me like somebody went, Oh, Alien? Do you know what that makes me think of? Pac-Man. Yes, that's what it makes me feel think of. So, look, there's your little fella. And you have to eat eat, eat the dots, pick up supplies, I don't know, and avoid the aliens. Like Pac-Man. So, shall we play it again? Let's. Let's find out how it starts, shall we? Why not? I mean, it's even got... They've not really thought too much about the sounds either, have they? To be honest. Oh. Turd. I'm not sure why the dots are at weird... Um, weird angles. My pad went the wrong way. It really did. Let's try again. So I keep forgetting how to make this work properly. that was going to happen and yet I still walked around that way. Go! Oh, no, no, I wanted to go down the tunnel. Shit. Shit. Did it again. <laughs> oh, fuck. No, why are you doing that? Gah! One freaking tablet left. Oh, 
Oh, what? Oh. Why do I keep doing that like a dickhead? Oh. No. Oh! For God's sake, why doesn't it? better with a surely we must play better with an Atari joystick come on come on oh thank goodness oh now what we're we doing oh we're doing we're doing frog Gah. I wanted to play frogger I didn't want to die horribly like that. God's sake, God's sake. Ah, uh, well look, it is what it is. It's pack alien. Sounds, colours, flickering. It's, it's, it's yeah. Um, but it is also the uh, license of uh, a then x-rated video game uh, film so okay that's it that was episode 100 um also episode one done more professionally i'd like to hope so uh so i think what we need to do is um oh uh, well i'll tell you what i'll tell you what we need to do this don't we we need to go to here. And for those of you um, wondering, when we get to episode 200 in another couple of years, then remind me that we need to redo episode two. Um, but for now, let's spin the wheel and see what we'll be looking at next week. Game Boy Advance. We're going to look at some Game Boy Advance games that we haven't already played. Seems fair enough. I uh, need to be back on this one. Uh, yes. Yay! It's the goodbye screen. Um, so, wah. thank you for joining us. I mean, if you've been watching since episode one, then thank you for sticking with us for a couple of years. Um... I've had a, a whole host of fun while I've been doing these 100 episodes. And, you know, here's to 100 more. Um, thank you for sticking around. If you're watching us on Twitch, uh, live on a Monday night from 7 o'clock, then you know we're on Twitch at Snug Radio. If you're watching this as the YouTube video, then uh, you know we're on YouTube at Snug Radio. But did you know we're on Twitch? Live at 7 o'clock. Come to the chat room. Tell us what to play. Who knows? Who knows what might happen if you pop in the chat room? Um, where else are we? Well, we're, we're mostly everywhere. Astog Radio, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok. Um, 
you'll find us at Snug Radio. If you want to email us, you can email us uh, at uh, retro at snugradio.co.uk. Retro at snugradio.co.uk. Um, we'll be doing Game Boy Advance games next week, which is a little bit more modern than the things you've seen tonight. Um, and what else is there? There's also the Snug Radio Discord. If you want to come and chat to the Discord, um, then please do. It'd be nice to see you. Um, must say hello to first time chatter Perfecto Plexo. Um, it's nice to see you. It's a shame you popped into chat and wave at the end of the show, but hello. Um, come back next week. Every Monday from 7 o'clock, uh, we'll be here on Twitch playing retro games in the retro lounge. So, that's it. We've done all the things. We've done all the Discord. Oh, Nutty Cluster, moderator extraordinaire, as you can see from the chat room. Just there. Just there. Oh, finger's gone. There you go. Just there. Um, she has uh, um, a design shop where she is, uh, she, she does some stunning designs and you can find her on Redbubble and Threadless as Inkyspiration. There will be a link in wherever you're watching this video, there'll be a link. I also have a design shop where you can buy some cool things um, and my shop is called The Glorious Idiot. Look for The Glorious Idiot and there'll also be a link wherever you're watching this video. Um, if it helps at all nutty cluster designed this 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 logo this logo was designed by a nutty cluster and that that one down there that one down there she is the head snug radio's head designer so if you want some cool things head over to ink inspiration and buy some cool stuff um that's it that's it so um Without any further ado, then, I've been Math. This has been Snug Radio's Retro Lounge. Till next time, play something retro. Bye! <laughs> <laughs>